Hey guys, it's Green Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 11 of the Magical Revolution of the Reincarnated Princess and the Genius Young Lady. Alright, I mean, because, well, of course, this show ends next week, correct? So, I feel like we're, we might have maybe, like, tension ask in this episode. I don't know. I mean, I saw a tweet. I didn't get much of it, but I was just like, I saw pictures, so I was just like, hmm. How is this going to end today? So I'm a little curious, slash scared, slash everything else in the world right now. But <laughs> other than that, let's go to get started in three, two, one, go. Wait, hold on. The, now, how old is the king? He like what in his eight, late thirties? Oh, so ain't that spirit lady also supposed to be telling her story today, too? I hate the fact that they're just choosing all of this in front of her right now. It's just, it, it's like she just gets no decision. This is why I can't stand arranged marriages. Everything is not fine. Mm -mm. No, no. Mm -hmm.
So they literally just showed her for one episode. And they were like, yeah, we're not probably going to do anything else with her. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, never mind. I take what I said back. I can't. Oh, but she's not. Don't tell me he died. Mm. I mean, but damn, you couldn't even make him like a mortal or something so that you could have been together forever?
Yeah, she loves you. They make soft hair. So that she can be free. Can't have the princess crying over here by herself. Right? You'll make it even worse, baby. Please. I oh, no.
right? For your ego, your pride. I know.
Sure. Thank you. <laughs> okay. We go. Uh, the, the girlfriend's going to fight. Okay. Who would have thought? But just oh my god, that last little bit, very emotional. Jesus, like. Uh. It was too much. Too, too much. Oh my god. I just, I feel bad for both of them because they just want to make each other happy and such. But of course, there's always going to be one of them because they both wear the pants of the relationship where it's like, no, I don't want you to do this for me, yada, yada, yada. And the other one's like, well, let me do this because I love you. They're doing this for each other because they love each other. And it's too freaking much. Oh my god relationships <laughs> just oh that's what you want you you want that in a real oh my god it's done yay hooray it's finally done after how many freaking hours it literally took like almost maybe 12 hours yeah okay but yes like seriously relationships oh my god you, you just want that you want your significant other to always fight for you regardless like seriously whether that's you know speaking up against when you're mm, you're how should I wear this like your future parent the laws talk bad about you they can say hey uh-uh no 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 and such and this just it's sweet like oh I can't like so much but like yes I get it the fact is that she doesn't want like, Yuffie doesn't want her to do this. She still wants her to be free as a bird and such because that burden that Anis will have where it's like no one will accept her because she is a princess of no magic and such. And it's like, why should you even, you know, be next in line for the throne even if you have no magic? This is like, like how I felt at the beginning of the episode where you had the group of people, the group of men, talking about her in front of her and she's trying her hardest not to get upset about it and such and it, 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 it ugh, I cannot speak it upset her so much that she threw up in the bathroom and she keeps telling herself it's okay it's okay but it's not okay it's secretly eating away at you and it continuously is eating at you until you're nothing and, and yes I mean now finding out that you know uh, what's her face? This is our, our spirit. That's a great, 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 great ancestor. Jesus Christ. Like, her story is even sadder. Like, dang, you, you're like this forever. You will never age. You will never die. And you can't really fall in love with anyone because they're going to grow old and you're going to stay that age forever. You're not going to experience things. Things is them. And that hurts. That's a tragic ass story. Like, Jesus but I really thought Yuffie was going to go through it. She was like, yes, this is what I want to do for her. And I want what's best for her because I love her. But who knows how this is going to end next week. Mm -mm. I, I don't, I have no idea. With this duel, any little thing can happen. Like, it's about to go all out. We thought the brother and sister duel was good. This is about to be, like, next freaking level. It's girlfriends. Girlfriends are going against each other. Like, mm-mm. Mm-mm. This is, like, you know, the first... <laughs> In the end, I always think it back to pretty care. It, it's like, okay, the first time 
and it, it's either it's either it has to be movie one, either movie one, no, it's movie two, it's movie two because Shiny Luminous is in movie two. It's the movie, it's the second movie of Pretty Cure where white and black fought each other, and how painful that is. Like, oh, uh, I have not rewatched that in like a good behind minute, but the, I remember the first time when I did, like, all this emotion came out of me. I was crying. It was too much. And I think if I sat and rewatched that too, I'd probably end up crying as well because I know myself. <laughs> because Honoka and Nagisa love each other so freaking much. Because obviously, they are married. I don't care what you tell me. They are married. And being under control under the bad guys spell and such and fighting each other and the fact that Cure White was able to break it, but Cure Black, you know, mm, not really, kind of, because she got under control right after. It just hurts. And then, uh, it's too much. I, w I would really say go watch the movie because it's, it's hella emotional. I mean, it was worse when I posted the tweet and I was just like, yes, emotions. <laughs> emotions with this fight. Like, oh my God. Oh yeah, when the pretty kids have to fight each other, it hurts. It truly hurts. Don't let that happen. Don't let that happen in the all-star movie. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 11 <clears throat> of the magical revolution of the <laughs> reincarnated princess and the genius young lady. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday. I'm guessing for the final episode or second to last episode. Who, who knows? We'll I'll probably find out in a couple of minutes after I'm done watching both of them. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.